Well, I didn't actually attend the schools in Pennsylvania, but um, since my parents have moved there, my sister has, she's attended, at first she attended public school, and that was, it was wild. It's like the Wild West out there, apparently, because my, both my brother and my stepmom worked for the school systems as, like, utility staff, so they, they were like a, uh, an observant, like, third party, just, like, watching, and the, apparently the teachers and the students just, like, casually cursed at each other in conversation, and, and children in the bathrooms will just, like, smear feces on the walls, and from time to time, the, like, custodial staff will have to clean up, and, um, I can't believe it's real, but it is, I guess, and my sister, my parents pulled her out of the public school system there because it was so bad. And that's coming from a somewhat urbanized area of New Jersey too, previously to that. So now she gets the, she goes to this centralized statewide online homeschool. And from what I understand, it's like, your teachers aren't even like localized to you like they're centralized to like a, a certain location or whatever so her instructors god knows where they are and she sometimes gets like the wrong grades back on things like she'll like do a really good job on something and she'll get like a zero back and it, then when my parents like send them emails about it they'll be like oh mixed her up it's for the wrong student and it's like there's like, I don't know, to me it's just mind-boggling that, you know, they could develop this public school system and online and stuff and not have, not facilitate it to like a local level. You know, from actually living out there, I lived in a pretty quiet area. There was no real crime, violent crime to speak of, but crimes like burglary and stupid things like that, things of that nature happen all the time. And, um... I don't know. I guess in that area of Pennsylvania, the more concerning effect in regards to like education or lack thereof would be the drug problem because, I mean, the opioid problem is massive everywhere right now, but in Pennsylvania, it's like they're really hit hard with it, and in a lot of other rural places throughout America, they're hit super hard, and I think... I don't know, I think it has a lot to do with like education and opportunity because when you, when you have a good education you have more opportunities available to you, um, you're capable of doing more in a lot of respects, and when you don't have those opportunities it's, uh, you know, you can be more inclined to drug use. I, I don't know, something's gotta give, you know, they gotta change something.